What's up guys, it's Tom with Stocked Up. The market's been crazy and volatile the past couple of days. A couple things that we could have done over the past couple of days to make some money is to go ahead and buy some SPY calls. You guys can see that the SPY here in the in the uh, post market went ahead and dipped whenever um, Iran went ahead and attacked us or um, whenever they started attacking our base with the missiles that is. And you can see that it then rallied up and then the next day somehow rallied up and through whenever Trump made his announcement and you can see that it just kept rising and rising now we ended up getting into some calls like right around here and the calls ended up skyrocketing over 200 percent from the call out it was a very good call out um thanks to cole for uh you know giving me the heads up you know um spy was definitely being looked at very very hard but um right there was a very good opportunity to buy the calls uh the announcement definitely did not go negative like a lot of people thought if it would have went negative we could have made even more money but um you know Forget that. We went ahead and made 200% whenever it went up. You know, as soon as people hear war, obviously the thing that you think of is market going down, right? Like right here. But the reason that the market went up is because we did not go ahead and retaliate to their missile attacks. What happened was is that they pretty much fired warning shots at us. They did not um, harm anybody, which is very, very good. If they would have killed any U.S. soldiers, I think we would be seeing a lot of different outcome here. But since nobody was harmed and um you know not now we can just go ahead and implement uh diplomatic sanctions on them which is what we're doing so another big stock today from calls that i wish i would have gotten in was snap or snapchat these calls today just skyrocketed you can see pre-market the market was up pretty big it did fall but it ended up coming back and then it ended up popping like five percent plus i believe it was at three percent but let's see since back here if you would have went from the from the close yesterday to there it's like seven percent which is insane from the close till there i know it went up a lot pre-market so you would have had to have gotten in yesterday um pretty much to get in on these calls unless you got in right on open which would have been pretty risky but that is a 1000 percent move today on snap calls you can see it kind of had a little bull flag right here um here i'll show you the bull flag and pretty much what a bull flag is as you can see if you create a top on this and then you create a nice little wedge you can see that's kind of your flag and then this is like your flag pole right here so you can see the flag pole pretty much goes up to right there and so you can pretty much do a measurement so you know it rose that much to get to the flag and then like we we could have noticed this flag before it broke out and then you could see that then it, it has then um the part above the flag and what you do is you measure the pole and however big the pole is is how big the flag is generally um that's pretty general how it goes. You can you can watch a ton of videos on bull flags. Uh, they're pretty simple. Um, here's another example of a bull flag, right here. How it comes up and touches right there, and then like that. So you can see if we if we kind of draw up to there, you know that's like a two point gain, and then from here to there, that's another two point gain, and then you would have had another like bearish looking flag there, and then it, that popped. So you can see there's a whole bunch of bull flags here. Like this is another bull flag there and there. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. You can you can identify these on a whole bunch of different stocks and then buy calls as they break out of the flags, and you'll it'll you'll see very very good returns on those. And I actually called SNAP out to our uh, stock mastery group about a week ago, a week and a half ago, and I ended up making three and a half percent on it. You can see I I went ahead and drew the line. I saw it cross over this 100 SMA and then come down and touch it, and I got in right there and made about 3% when it popped on this day. I could have kept holding and uh, made a lot more, but uh, you can see that I went ahead and got out, obviously. I wish I would have held, but you can see it, whenever it starts to get up to places like this and starts consolidating, I like to get out. So when once it gets there, if I do anything, I'll probably just play um, play some calls on it because those are even though they're they're slightly risk slightly more risky um you're not risking as much because the some calls like for example if the i if the uh, iv is lower like kind of like down here how it's kind of low it's like medium yeah you know the calls aren't too expensive there's some they're probably somewhere around 50 to 100 dollars, which isn't too much for one call and if you buy one call and it went up a thousand percent you could do you could have turned 100 bucks into you know however much but i know the calls that went up a thousand percent today were worth about 20 dollars the day before and they went up to about two hundred dollars or one hundred and fifty dollars a call or something like that now i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my outlook on the s p 500 tomorrow so as you know the uh symbol for s p 500 futures is slash es and those actually trade tw uh 24 5 they're only closed for a very short time about um i think 30 minutes or an hour per day i can't remember exactly the time but if you go ahead and look at the 15 minute chart we can see uh it went ahead and touched this 100 sma and continued upwards if we see this 
consolidation move come down and if this crosses back below this 100 sma kind of like it did right here cross below and then fell i'm definitely going to be looking for it to be a little bit bearish um as you can see right here as it moved through the 100 sma it just continued to fly downwards and that's something that um we would like to see as far as uh, puts go on this we've we have been playing calls like the past two days we we did load up on puts right here unfortunately our uh, our move happened in um after hours which is very unfortunate because that that was a very good move for us we could have definitely cashed out of a lot of puts that day and we honestly kind of got screwed by the news and how this popped back up um which it, it almost shouldn't have popped back up it should have popped back up when once the uh, announcement happened but it popped up before that probably probably because uh no, no, nobody ended up getting hurt getting hurt by the missiles so I'd say overall, with, with the news and everything, the way it's went, I'm pretty bullish on the S&P 500. You can see it; uh, it's definitely consolidating up here. In the futures, this is actually moving live as we're speaking. I do think that this will actually go ahead and pop up here. If I was playing futures right now, I would buy with a very tight stop loss. You're risking very little on futures. You might lose, uh, what, like 50 bucks a contract here. And if it pops, if it pops up to there, you, you might make quite a bit. But that, that's just intraday trading futures don't definitely do not get started into intraday trading futures until you've had a lot of exposure in the market because it's very very risky but yeah as long as the s p 500 continues up and does not fall below the 100 sma on a 15 minute chart i would definitely say that i'm bullish on this and i would be buying more calls if it falls below the 100 sma i will be bearish on it kind of like how it fell below here and then continued falling and fell below right here and continued falling again and that that's what we'd be looking for is something uh continuation we're not going to try to pick this and go one way or the other we're going to continue with what the market gives us so if this pops tomorrow morning on open i might get in and continue with it upwards if it goes down and falls below here i will be buying puts instead of calls i hope this video has brought you guys some value if it did definitely smash that subscribe button check out the links below check out stock mastery check out stat modeling if you're into options, definitely check out Stat Modeling. Mike, Mike posts those every single day, um, and I post the Stock Mastery plays every day. Definitely check it out. If you need any help, ask questions in the discussion channel and Discord. And this is Tom, you guys, signing off.